Hi, I'm Nina Drzinski, and I'm here with Ricky DeCornet, who's doing a huge comic strip for the VIP room for the Port Townsend Film Festival, which is going to be really cool. Uh, right now, she's doing a painting for us, which is exciting. Ricky, how long have you been doing art? Forever, ever since I was a little kid, you know, doing uh, mermaids and houses and chimneys. So I'd say since I was three. What do you think are your big influences? Oh, natural world, of course, but um, very early on surrealism because I, my mother was interested in surrealism and she had a great book of Salvador Dali's before he became an absolute fool and uh, was doing really interesting, amazing work. I think it's called A Hundred Secrets of Magic Craftsmanship or something. And I fell in love with that book and then um, saw some De Chirico and... Uh, Oh, Yves Tanguy, and then Magritte, and then as I was growing, became more and more interested in, in the Surrealists, and actually became a part of a Surrealist group in Europe later on, and continued to exhibit, actually, with, with international Surrealist groups, because it continues to be very active in Latin America and um, Eastern Europe, really all over the world. But I'd, I'd say Max Ernst was one of my biggest influences. But... Um, God, Walt Kelly, too. I mean, the cartoonist and uh, cinema, enormous influence on my aesthetic and just a lifelong love of, um, of art, beautiful things, peculiar, uh, <laughs> astounding things. I like to be astounded. <laughs> How did you get to Europe? I fell in love with a Frenchman and was married to him for a long time. And uh, we initially met in the United States and lived for a while in Canada and lived in North Africa for a couple of years and then landed up living in the Loire Valley in France. This was the 70s and I was really interested in a, a, an alternative lifestyle and had an enormous vegetable garden and did all of that. And I had a lot of energy in those days for that kind of thing. Gosh, that sounds amazing. How did you get involved with the Port Townsend Film Festival? Uh, through Joe Glow. I mean, I think we're all in love with this festival, and uh, it's one of the reasons why I wanted to move here, actually. There were many reasons, but that was, that was a big one. And Bonnie at uh, Joe Glow asked me if I would get involved and mentioned that she needed some decoration for the, the cotton building, and doing banners right away seemed like a good idea because it's a big space, and I realized I could do something really quickly and fun working on butcher paper and imagine doing yeah, cartoons of men from Mars in various shapes and <laughs> um, sizes, uh, running after broads with big hair, which is what they always do, you know. So that's what I did. <laughs> have you gone to it before this? I have, so, yeah. Yeah, and before I moved here as well. Um, came a couple of times, so. Yeah, it's one of my favorite things to do. It's an astonishing thing. I love the way the whole community gets involved with it. And uh, sitting in the theater, I think everybody's had the experience of hearing filmmakers, um, directors, actors talking in the room, you know, before the movie begins, saying, God, this is a wild place. People are so wonderful. I just had this feast at somebody's house. And yeah. And, yeah, put up in this wonderful place. Yeah. It's, Aww. yeah, people love it. Yeah, it's a special thing. It's, it, it, it's a hot thing. <laughs> we need more of this, our moribund planet. Yikes! <laughs> Spaceman! <laughs> How long have you been uh, an artist? Forever, like you. Yeah.